Hey everyone, Tinty here again with another quick Lightroom tip for you. I don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you've uploaded photos to a site like Photo Merchant and somebody said to you, hey, where are the images between 7164 and 7177? And you only have to explain to the client that, oh, well, those photos were too dark, too light, didn't capture the moment, too fuzzy, out of focus, etc. And the client is left feeling, oh, well, it would have been nice to actually see those photos because I would have liked to um, made a decision for myself. Well, this can all be avoided by this handy little Lightroom tip. So I'll switch over into Lightroom. And now the cool thing about this is that um, you can actually highlight the photos that you want to export. So I'll just choose some of them that have got the the red um, tag here because they're the ones I've exported before and up here in the library you've got rename photos or F2. <clears throat> now the cool thing about this is you can actually rename it with whatever the original file name was, file name with a sequence on the end, you can do it by date, you can give it a custom name, you can do it by sets so if you said one of three, two of three, three of three you can give it the original file name plus a sequence number <coughs> or just give it custom text with a sequence. Now I like to use custom name with sequence because that gives the idea that this is the name of the file and this is photos 1, 2 and 3 etc. So I'm going to hit OK on that and that's going to rename those photos. Now the cool thing about this is if I export and I'm just going to use my preset here for web export that's going to export now with the necessary file name and it says task complete and so what that means now is when I actually go into my exports directory you can see that the file name is 1, 2 and 3 <coughs> so what I can do then is I can actually go and upload those photos into Photo Merchant or whatever site that you happen to be using and now the client doesn't feel kind of ripped off or whatever it is that they haven't or they're missing out on potentially some photos which you took and didn't think that they were worthy of publishing. So that's a quick handy hint for you. I hope that saves you bacon in future. Um, feel free to rate, comment and subscribe on my YouTube videos. That's youtube.com slash tenty and there's a whole heap of other Lightroom tutorials there for you and if you like them please go check them out and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye for now